Right, so let's get clear on the difference between agentic AI versus generative AI and what it practically means, like for your business or um, a strategy. Precisely. Okay, so uh, generative AI responds when you ask it to. Think of it as a really capable tool. Uh huh, you give it input. Yes, let's think about it like a workflow automation for, say, an inventory. Okay. So, Generative AI might analyze stock levels and say, hey, you have a low availability of product X, maybe fill it up, reorder. Like a suggestion. Yes, a suggestion. But Agentic AI, on the other hand... Agentic AI could potentially handle the actual resolution. Mm, yes, yes, that's precisely it. Uh, an Agentic system could take that analysis, confirm it with the supplier, and see if there's availability and put a purchase order on that. And update the inventory system as well. And update the inventory. Maybe even notify warehouse teams and execute the whole process autonomously. Got it. So, boiling it down, generative AI helps you respond or create based on input. While agentic AI helps you actually run things and it takes an initiative within defined boundaries, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which Brings us maybe to the key question for all of you listening to us right now. How could AI that genuinely acts, that executes tasks independently, change your specific business processes? Exactly. Could an agentic system take over bottlenecks and repetitive tasks? And most importantly, what are the hurdles? What needs to be true for that to work reliably and safely in your context? That's the transformation we're building towards at ClickIt. Agentic systems that don't just assist, also act. That's it. 